Okay, uh, this, as you can see, is uh, Deadfall Adventures. It's written by The Farm 51 and published by Nordic Games, who uh, actually have a fairly long history of supporting Linux with their releases. Now, I picked this game up, I think, in the sales at Christmas or perhaps January. Uh, for 75% off, so I only paid uh, £8 something for it. The full price of the game is 33 quid, uh, which is possibly a little steep. Uh, so it's it's a first person shooter, uh, but also an action adventure game, so it's sort of a cross genre type thing. It's based on um, the Quartermain books, which was a Victorian series of novels, which uh, later later became several different films, notably uh, King Solomon's Mines. You've probably heard of that one. That was the first book. Uh, you can see there are some graphical glitches here in the loading. I think some some weird shader issues there. Actually, playing the game, the graphics seem to be seem to be just fine. Um, I've turned all the settings down slightly to record the video, uh, so I, I normally have it on maximum settings, and it's you know it's playable for me. What isn't so good is uh, the loading times. That's that's the one thing here. Now, firing up the game, you will probably think it's crashed because it it does literally take five minutes to load up and get to the title screen. If you exit out and immediately start the game again. It's, it's back you're back in, in in sort of 20 or 30 seconds which indicates there's some sort of uh, caching which happens but if you do something else for a bit and then go and start the game you're back to waiting five minutes to start up so if you want to play it start the game up go and make a cup of tea come back it might be ready for you at that point um so yes that there's not been an update since last february when it was the Linux, um, they called it a beta release, but it's been the only release so far. So there is, it's possibly, I don't know whether Nordic Games run out of money or, or the Farm 51 have, I'm not sure. I'm not, not up on the details. But for now, it works well enough to play, and uh, it's actually a fairly interesting game. Um, so there's shooting going on, there's puzzle solving elements, and, uh, and there's a story. So you are you are playing the role of Quartermain, who's you know a roguish, a roguish archaeologist adventurer, uh, searching for treasures. You've got this notebook from your father, I think, uh, with help on the puzzles. Uh, you're assisting a young lady, who's a professional archaeologist. That's her there, and you've been investigating this pyramid. Of course, on the way in, you got uh, captured by Nazis. And then, uh... oh, interesting. So that looks dangerous. Oh, there's a crocodile down there. Look, lots of crocodiles down there. So let's not go down there. Let's instead walk very carefully. Oh, what happened there? Oh, it's a cutscene. It's a very slow moving cutscene. We're going to watch her wiggle her way across a plank by the look of it. Ah, we're also going to wiggle our way across a plank. I don't think looking at the crocodiles, yes. Let's look at our bum instead. So this is all cutscene. I'm not getting to do anything, which is probably for the best. Well, that was fun. We have to move. Probably for the best, because uh, because I'm not good at uh, direction, and this game. This game also has some of the most. Uh, Horrible mouse sensitivity issues you'll ever you'll ever see. All right, 
So here are the Nazis who captured us. Let's uh, let's just. Oh, we're going to hide in here. Look, let's go and hide here and replenish some health a bit. Killed quite a lot of them. Ooh, what's this? You sorted them. So that was the uh, first person shooter elements. Yeah, why can't I pick that up? Take it with me. I like big guns. There's also some puzzle elements. And. Ooh. Half of the way, right. Another thing you can do is uh, pick up treasures. So, you see, I've picked up a treasure there, a golden treasure from the Path of the Warrior. Right. Which will let me level up. So, the leveling up isn't through combat, it's through this treasure collection stuff. So, it does seem to be that the game. The game uh, is, you know, leading you along a path of of adventure and discovery, as, as much as it is shooting. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to a puzzle before I have to wrap up the video. Ooh. All right. So I can only hold that with two gut, two hands. So. Three things I've got to slot into place. Is what the, the notes are telling me. Ah. I'm nearly dead. to shoot. Alright, so standing on that breathe the statue forward. back. So we both stand on the sta on the things. I'm guessing there's three of them. Where's the third one? Right. 
she's going to stand there. And that's the deer one. Pick up the dynamite, why not? Alright, oh, here's the other one. So, this is a puzzle, oh, I'm clearly too stupid to solve it, you're going to press some two things, so maybe I've got to do it the other way around. So let us pause for a moment while I uh, Google on the internet how to solve the puzzle. Okay, so what I've done is uh, I've researched on the internet and I have discovered how to do the next puzzle. And then I've restarted the checkpoint, so I'm back where I was before. Which means I first have to go and collect this treasure. There we go. Path of the Warrior 2 of 5, that's before. I'll collect the treasure map. I can't remember the button to get into my skills. I'm going to keep hold of this gun this time, because this gun is quite effective. If low on ammo. There's nothing around there. So. We're going to get to the puzzle. And this time I'll be able to solve the puzzle. And then I'll wrap up the video. Uh, as I've discussed. It's a, a nice combination of uh, first person shooter and, and uh, action adventure uh, with some bugs, some issues some bugs to be fair oh, she's getting shot at Who's shooting at her? Where is he? Has she sorted it? Ah, she killed him. Right, so now we're solving this puzzle. So I've got to stand on, there's a switch here. And there's two more switches over there. I don't know how much of the previous bit of video I'll leave in to give you context here. Maybe this could help us, she says. Helpfully. So she stands on that second switch, and then that mummy over there has, well, that sarcophagus has a mummy in it. Go 
to get through the door before it shuts. He doesn't like us, allegedly. Oh, and then we get a bit of lag in the cutscene again. Although I'm sure it looks great. It is. It is a bit better when you're not when I'm not uh, recording at the same time. Oh, go on, go on, another frame. There we go. More lag. Am I going to have to shoot bad guys while it's lagging? There we go. Saving content. So yeah, the graphics are quite pleasant, to be fair. That's just uh, so my compass points at treasure, which is how you're supposed to find the treasure pieces, rather than just uh, random happenstance like I've been doing it. And the graphics are quite nice. The frame rate is reasonable most of the time. Upgrade your skills. Path of the Warrior. Reload, right, right, let's do reload, because I'm not like I'm accurate anyway, there's no point in being able to shoot more bullets. Yes. I don't know what I just opened. I'm assuming I upset them guys. bad guys oh possibly there was the bad guy then So I think I might be done here, yes. I've probably rambled on enough. I've lost my thread a little because of uh, getting stuck in that puzzle, which isn't isn't unusual for me at all, really, getting stuck on puzzles. Thankfully the internet lets you uh, lets you look at the answers. Uh, so it's it is quite a fun game really. The the, the puzzle aspects are you know, a nice a nice uh, contrast from the uh, shooting aspects. And, uh. Oh, we're out. We should be safe now. Let's leg it after the lady. There's a campsite here. What's that for? Nothing useful. Clearly, I've been playing too much Tomb Raider. I can't run anymore. Oh, there we go. Looks like it. Let's, Someone's got to stop you getting yourself killed. Let's end on that witty banter. So yes, it's it's a game definitely. I think worth checking out. Maybe not worth the 33 quid it's currently on sale for. Wait for a wait for a Steam sale. Uh, Works okay on Linux, some issues, but but if you put up with that sort of things, it's perfectly playable. <coughs> the Deadfall Adventures, uh, check it out on Steam.